A major standoff over the border is underway right now. Texas trading barbs with the federal government over literal barbs. <laughs> and Democrats now want Joe Biden to seize Texas troops to sort it all out. Governor Greg Abbott pledging to wrap the border with more razor wire after the Supreme Court gave Biden the go-ahead to remove it. Abbott argues it's his state's right to install more of the prickly barriers. He even wrote Joe a long letter about it, where he accused him of violating his oath. The Biden administration has really, truly abdicated its responsibility to secure the border and enforce the laws. Texas, very simply, is securing the border. And so we put up the razor wire that you were talking about, Bill, and we put up all these barricades that actually have denied illegal entry. Uh, and as you pointed out also in that screen, that there are criminals coming across our border. Texas has a right as a state to stop criminals from coming into our state. What Texas is doing is what Americans expect to be done. So far, at least 17 Republican governors are backing Abbott's right to self-defense. And how's this for malarkey? The same White House that smeared Border Patrol agents as whipping crazed lunatics is all of a sudden concerned that Greg Abbott is putting them in harm's way. Mm -hmm. We have been very clear. We want to make sure we get something done at the border. That's why we've been having these conversations with Senate Republicans and Democrats for the past several weeks to come up with a bipartisan agreement right. to deal with the border. Governor Abbott is not interested in that. He wants to politicize an issue, and he's not helping communities. He actually isn't. And he's actually putting Border Patrol agents in harm's way by doing what he's doing. Yeah. The standoff is a real mess, and sadly, our fearless border czar Kamala hasn't been able to find a solution. Sadly, it has become so deeply partisan, and the subject of then political gamesmanship, when in fact the solutions are at hand, and we offered a solution early on and invited bipartisan work. Let's work on it to fix this. But sadly, uh, you know, we want to fix it. They want to run on it. They want, a, they want a political issue to run on in November. All right, Dana, this is interesting. So the Supreme Court basically said that the feds can take down the razor wire, but Texas can put it back up. Yeah, they didn't say Texas did anything wrong. Yeah. Um, but th what they, the Supreme Court did, without actually giving much of an explanation, which is, I think, a little bit part of the confusion and <laughs> might have been a good idea to like write three paragraphs as to what they were thinking. So it goes back to the appeals court. And then I think eventually it does get to the Supreme Court. I think it's now up to 24 states that are supporting Abbott. So this comes down to a question that was really fundamental to the founding of the country. Mm -hmm. The reason that all the states got together and to say, yes, we'll form a union is because the federal government said that it would protect the states and that if it wasn't going to do that if for some reason, because it didn't want to or couldn't, that you could then protect yourself. So this could really get to the Supreme Court and be very good. Um, I don't think there's a big concern that all of a sudden the Biden administration wants a picture of sending in a bunch of feds in order to try to deal with this, because guess what? They haven't done that for the last three years. Why, why start now? And I do think that when Kamala Harris says that the Republicans just want a political issue, this, is, this has been going back and forth for a couple of decades in 2007. Harry Reid, remember that guy, mm -hmm. uh, the late Harry Reid on the Democratic side? They did the same thing. They said, we don't want to have an uh, immigration bill. It was much farther along and really was basically said that we want Hillary or Obama to be able to run on this issue. And then look what happened. Nothing ever got solved. Exactly. Jesse. Yes. Good to see you as always. Welcome back to the you show. Too. It's good to be back around what the table. What about me? Oh, well, I'm, you know, I already <laughs> said that to you. You know, um, uh, Jesse, you, you just heard Kamala Harris tell us that she had a solution. Where was the solution? Remember, it was all about root causes, which included her incompetence? Right. So the Republicans in the House passed a border security bill last year, and it died under Chuck Schumer. They said they didn't want to touch it because it didn't address root causes. It did. Mm -hmm. Imagine, Greg, Russians just start pouring over the Bering Strait into Alaska mm -hmm. and the federal government just processed them into the state and wouldn't let Alaska repel them. Or the Chinese started coming in on their vessels into Hawaii and the federal government just started processing the Chinese, <laughs> thousands of them day after day, and they started filling up Hawaii mm. and Hawaii couldn't defend itself. That's crazy. It is absolutely crazy. Texas has declared this an invasion. Now, the polling shows the majority of the American people believe it's invasion. 
And it, it, if you look at legal precedent, it says the Supreme Court has said that the states have the right to use force to repel an invasion. They're saying this isn't a violent invasion. Okay, what about the drugs, the human, and the sex trafficking that comes along with this? Now, the Democrats have already said what their goal is. Kamala Harris just said it yesterday. The goal is to process more migrants and give them a faster pathway to citizenship. Jerry Nadler said they want to bring them in so they can pick crops and have babies. The Castro brothers said they want to turn Texas blue. The other Democrats said they want to boost the migrant population in her district because the census counts illegals. So it gives them a boost. In representation, Biden has shredded since day one every single thing Donald Trump put there. He stopped deportations, he stopped the wall, and started handing out bus tickets and turned the Border Patrol agents into a turnstile. So if you're going to catch a guy 40 times, a trafficker for a cartel, and release him, 40 times he's caught and released, you don't want to stop the border crisis. Now California's paying for sex changes for illegal aliens. Juan comes in, goes to California, becomes Juanita. We get the bill. That is absolute insanity, and I will not tolerate it. I don't know if that's bad. You want Juan to become be Juanita yes. yeah, and let, we pay for it? Less competition. <laughs> judge. You're doing all right, Greg. Judge, hypothetically, civil war is coming. It's coming. We have 24 states on Texas's side. That leaves 26 no, that's 60. Is that 50? Yeah, it's 26. Mm. <laughs> I was an English major. So whose side would you go on? I, I mean, like... Take what? a guess. Yes. I think I would have to fight for Texas, right? Yes. 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 Look, uh, Texas is defending itself from lawlessness. And what has happened in the Supreme Court was a that there was a move to vacate the injunction. That case has not yet been decided in terms of the substance of the case. That It's only a procedural thing where they have to take the razor wire down. The case is not decided. Look. The Biden administration is complicit in aiding and abetting the invasion of this country by uninvited, unvetted illegal immigrants. That's the, that's the, that's the headline here. To prove it, they have fought every state action to where governors have tried to protect their state from illegals, whether it's Texas and the water, the buoys in the water, Texas and the uh, razor wire over the river, or whether it was Arizona that tried to build the wall. And to prove that they are complicit with this invasion, they moved all the way to the United States Supreme Court to stop the enforcement of Article 42 of uh, Title 42, which required a slowdown at the border. They didn't want that. And while Americans, first responders, nurses, doctors, uh, uh, veterans, cops, they all had to be vaccinated, the illegals not only were never tested, they were allowed in during an international pandemic, and they were never required to have a vaccine. All the immigrants enter this country, and they are allowed to just enter. There's no remain in Mexico. And what the Biden administration did was they, they allowed millions of dollars in construction property that was ready to build the wall to be stolen or scavenged at the border. And finally, on top of the actions they did this administration, what criminals do, they lied. Joe Biden lied. Karine Jean-Pierre lied. Mayorkas lied to Congress openly. And Biden never said, I will not allow my Secretary of Homeland Security to lie to the, to the American people and say that the border is, is secure because it's not. He not only allows Biden to lie, but they lied about Whipgate, never took it back. They lied about the razor wire, saying we needed to protect the illegals in case they drowned. Then we find out they drowned an hour before the Border Patrol even knew about it. So this bill, this bill that they're talking about, when the Democrats had the House, the Senate, and the Oval, and they could have solved this themselves, what they want to do now is they want to allow 5,000 people in a day, that's 150,000 people a month, when the highest number when Donald Trump was there was 70,000. They want to double it. I don't want to pay for them. I don't want them in my school. I don't want my hospitals to go bankrupt because of this. Jessica, I was so pleasantly surprised in the green room when you came up to me and you said, you know who saw this coming? Donald Trump. If only we had listened to him about the wall, we could have avoided this mess. And I thought, wow, Jessica, that was amazing. <laughs>
every time you share our private conversations, <laughs> a little bit of my heart breaks. Um, I'm mostly wondering if I can get the same research as Jesse so I can get those Nadler quotes about picking crops and making babies. You haven't seen um, Jesse Waters' prime time. Jessica, how dare you? Yeah. I'm tending to well, my child between like eight and nine. I six days okay. straight. So um, I'm going to surprise you a little, but then I'll revert to form. So the surprise <laughs> is that... The Republicans, and specifically Greg Abbott and Ron DeSantis, their thesis that busing migrants to liberal cities has worked out for them. Remember, there was mm -hmm. a good amount of outrage, certainly, and even some moderates who thought that the Martha's Vineyard thing was a stunt and it was bad. But now that it has turned into hundreds of thousands of people, you have liberals on the sides of this who are at least saying this is a huge crisis, we have to deal with it. Don't worry, guys, I'm back. So <laughs> the bipartisan deal that has now been scuttled because Donald Trump called up Mitch McConnell and said, hey, I noticed in Iowa and New Hampshire that uh, immigration is the number one issue and I can't run on the economy anymore because it's going gangbusters. I just want to, Larry Kudlow, I want to shout you out. So 3.3% growth for Q4. Kudlow said today. Mostly government spending. Come on, Jessica. Yeah. Uh, economic advisor to Donald Trump, Larry Kudlow, and a Fox Business employee. <laughs> Biden gets his due. If I were him, I would be out slinging that hash, too. And it is so hash. Now, <laughs> it's really which cheap Which is a hash. great way to say it. It's government spending. They're spending I, our money. To come raise on. Jobs. To, yeah, to raise interest. I mean, just, it's amazing. I'll be done so much faster if you just let me go. Okay, so. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. Puck, ha <laughs> Puck reported that Mitch McConnell told the Senate Republican conference, Donald Trump wants to run on this. The politics have changed, and I don't want to undermine him. Mitt Romney was in the hallway this afternoon with a gaggle talking to CNN, I believe, confirming this. And then someone, uh, Senator Tillis, talking about how he didn't come to the Senate to kowtow to a president, let alone a former president who is now a candidate. He wants to pass good, solid policy. Mm -hmm. This is where, if Democrats can talk about it properly, and they certainly should, and they should be up, big upping this bipartisan deal, which is what includes the Ukraine funding and the Israel funding. And it does make it harder for migrants to claim asylum and having that fail safe mechanism to All prevent right. more. <sighs> Jessica, what? if you didn't want Trump to run on this, why didn't you solve the damn problem three years ago to come back and go like, oh, my God, they're not solving this problem because they want to run on it. You guys have been playing politics with this That's longer than anybody. You no, had no, the no. House, the Senate, and the Oval for and two years. And you had it like 50 no, times, you, too. We're not no blaming. one wants... No, you, you're you not are blaming because he's not forcing the, enforcing the law. All he needs to do is enforce the law, and that's the end right. of it. No, no need to yell. No one actually wants to solve the illegal immigration problem on either side. I because do, everyone Jessica. Profit. I, I don't believe you. <laughs> okay. Well, you know that... A little part of my heart just broke. <laughs> I'm fine with it. I do have a heart, I think. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.